So let us look at the following example that deals with single slit diffraction. So monochromatic light with a wavelength of 700 nanometers passes through a very small slit with a width of 1 micrometer. Assuming that the fringes are formed on the screen a distance of 15 centimeters away from the single slit, find the width of the central bright fringe in A degrees and B in centimeters. So let's begin with part A. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram. So we have the viewing screen and we have the following screen that contains our single slit with a width of one micrometer. Now the distance between these two screens is given by L and it's equal to 15 centimeters. So we allow monochromatic light to pass through the following opening and diffraction of light takes place and that forms the following central fringe that is bright on the following viewing screen. So we want to calculate the width of this bright fringe in degrees and then in part B in centimeters. So let's suppose that this black line is the horizontal line and this upper dashed line is the upper ray and this is our lower ray. Now this angle fader is the angle that this upper ray makes with respect to our horizontal and notice this angle is also fader. So if we calculate what this angle fader is and then multiply that by 2 that will give us the total angle measure that this fringe takes up. So let's begin by recalling this equation which we discussed in the previous lecture. So this equation basically gives us where our dark fringes are formed and equivalently it tells us where the central bright fringe ends. So it basically tells us where this section of our fringe ends and that's exactly what we want to find. We want to find this angle so as long as we assume our m is equal to positive 1, we can solve for the angle using this equation. So, sine of the angle theta is equal to m multiplied by lambda divided by d. Now, what exactly is the m in this particular case? Well, the m is positive 1, and that's because positive 1 refers to the first dark fringe that is formed above our central bright fringe. And that's exactly what we want to calculate. We want to calculate that line that separates our bright fringe from the first dark fringe. So m is positive 1. So positive 1 multiplied by lambda 700 nanometers or equivalently 7 times 10 to negative 7 meters. And we divide that by our width of the slit 1 micrometer or equivalently 1 times 10 to negative 6 meters. So we divide and we get the following result 0 0.7. Now we take the inverse of the trig sine function of 0 0.7 and that gives us about 44 degrees. So this degree measure is 44 degrees. Now to calculate this entire degree measure, we multiply that by 2. So therefore, the central bright fringe subtends an angle of 2 multiplied by 44, or equivalently 88 degrees. Now in part B, we want to calculate this distance in centimeters. So we're going to use this right triangle. So this is our right triangle. So we know that the base of our right triangle is the distance L. The height is, let's say that's Y, and the angle was calculated in part A to be theta. So let's use the tangent trig function. 
tangent of the angle theta is equal to opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So y divided by L. So we're looking for y. So let's solve for y. y is equal to tangent theta multiplied by L. Now L is equal to 15 centimeters. It's the length of this base. Equivalently, it's the distance between the two screens. Now we know the angle from part A is 44 degrees. So tangent of 44 degrees multiplied by 15 centimeters gives us about 14.5 centimeters. So this distance is 14.5 centimeters. So if we double that, we get 29 centimeters, which is the total distance that this central fringe essentially takes up. So the total length of the central fringe is 2 multiplied by 14.5 centimeters or equivalently 29 centimeters.